Hey guys, uh, Daniel here, and um, I just wanted to show you a review of the Captain Sim Space Shuttle. Um, my eyes, it's a pretty cool simulator. It adds a lot of uh, realism and fun into a flight simulator because you can go in space, you can go around the space shuttle, and you can do scientific missions. So, here's the cockpit of the space shuttle. As you can see, it's very detailed. And right now we are about 300,000 feet above the ground, and um, it looks pretty cool. So as you see back here, we got all the the back of the space shuttle where all the lab is. And let me just get up here for you. So here's the back of it, and let's look at the cockpit from here. Very cool. Um, here's some of the more control panels that you can see. Some jump seats here. And as you can see, I'm looking out here right now, and all the arm, the arm, the Canada arm is up. Uh, we have a radar. I don't think you can see it, but there's a radar out there that's up. The doors are open and showing the cargo bay. And that's that's just the cockpit part. So now we're gonna head down into the where all the people other people sit during launch. And here it is. So this is a pretty cool part of the spaceship. So this is under the flight deck. So this is where the the rest of the space ast astronauts sit. And there's some pretty cool details to this, just like right here. If I click this, it opens up and you can go down into it and seal it off. Again, here. Ooh. Seal it off here and turn around. Open this one up, seal it, and then you can seal that one off, and then you're out inside of outside. This is a pretty cool feature, and um, I like it a lot. Let's just go back into the cabin. Some of the things I like about the realism in this is just the texture inside the cargo bay, inside the cockpit, inside the cabin, and oh, we got like a toilet here. And you got some cool stairs heading up into the flight deck. I'm looking at from a from looking up. It's pretty cool. And right here, this is why I think it's pretty cool. This is, I guess, in the door leading out of the space shuttle. So if I click that. It should open up like that. It's pretty cool. And uh, let's get back up into the the flight deck, shall we? So just looking at the complete realism to this is amazing. Like I can click on these screens and change the different type of panels. And all the flight manual books, all here. And everything, it's just overall, it's an amazing aircraft. Now, now there is a problem with the Captain Sim uh, space shuttle. What will happen when you download it, the engines, you, well, they don't have engines. Um, the engines will be off, and you can't turn them on. So what you need to do is, so if you go and lo load your flight, like I'm about to do. And I go to Captain Sim. And I find my, my specials. And I load my flight. You're down the mountain. So, um it'll just start me on the ground and I'll never be able to get off the ground because unless I use slew and then slew mode 
I could use that to go up into space, but that'd take a while. So what I'm going to show you how to do it. Now they say that there's a file loaded into your flow flight, but it didn't work for me, and it hasn't worked for a lot of people. As you say, I either have no one here, or it just says no flights found. So what you're gonna have to do is exit out of flight simulator completely. And then you're gonna have to go to your files and then go to your, wherever your flight simulator files are located at. And mine's in Captain Sim, yours may be in your sim sim objects. But what I'm gonna do, these are all my Captain Sims. I'm going to go to SSO, and that's the uh, Captain Sim Space Shuttle. And then what I'm going to do is go to Flights, and these are all the flights. Don't click on these ones. Click on these ones with the, the plane in them. So you approach, entry, and TAEM. I do the entry one, that's what I was just showing you on. That's when you start about 300,000 feet. These ones I'm not sure. This one is the approach rate pro makes you just about to land that's a pretty cool one but the other one I haven't tried yet so then what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to have to be out of flight simulator completely they like don't even have it running because if you, when you click this it runs flight simulator for you and it should go straight into its own flight And as you can see, here's the cockpit. So now what we're going to do is just press P. And that will start your flight. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a, a comment please. If you'd like more to see more of our flight sim vids videos and um, some more tutorials and aircraft for flight simulator, I do a lot more games like DZ, Armor 2, Unturned, The Forest, a lot of stuff like that. I'm working on getting fraps to record better. I'm just using my iPad right now, but for the mean t meantime, I'm using my iPad. Doesn't look like a too bad of a video. Sorry for the bit of it if it's shaky. I'm kind of holding my iPad right here, and um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.